acid is a chemical with many uses, but let's closely examine some of its properties when it's used as a vaginal agent, including its safety and effectiveness. I've compiled 10 commonly asked questions about vaginal boric acid, so let's jump in. First, what is vaginal boric acid and what is it used for? It's a homeopathic preparation containing small amounts of boric acid and other elements, for example, probiotics and antioxidants like vitamin C and vitamin E. Boric acid is weak compared to stronger acids like hydrochloric acid. Boric acid is thought to have antifungal and antiseptic properties. It also works by replenishing normal vaginal acidity and balancing the helpful germs that normally live within the vagina. And as a result, people feel it will be helpful in treating some vaginal conditions. Number two, is it safe to use boric acid within the vagina? This is a loaded question. Some people feel that because it is homeopathic, it is natural and so does not cause any harm. Others think that boric acid is a weak acid and therefore it is safe to use. However, boric acid can cause significant problems if it's not used carefully and under the supervision of your doctor. It is poisonous if it is used that is swallowed or inhaled or applied in large quantities. High concentrations can lead to reproductive problems, possible kidney disease, or disrupt the way your glands and metabolic systems work. It can also affect the liver and the brain. So its safety as a vaginal agent, I would say, is only fairly certain if used under the supervision of your doctor for specific conditions. Number three, what are the common reasons women use boric acid in the vagina? Well, people who recommend natural treatments commonly recommend vaginal boric acid for these conditions. First, yeast or candida or thrush. Boric acid is sometimes used to treat yeast or thrush that keeps coming back that is recurrent. It may also be used to treat bacterial vaginosis. However, the primary treatment for that condition is antibiotics. And it's important to note that on its own, vaginal boric acid is not an effective treatment for bacterial vaginosis, especially if it's the type that keeps coming back. But in combination with some antibiotics, vaginal boric acid may be very effective for treating recurrent bacterial vaginosis. Another use can be as a vaginal cleanser to eliminate vaginal odor. But the downside to this is that frequent use may lead to stripping or overstripping the vagina of its natural germs, which then affects its acidity and increases your risk of susceptibility to infections. Number four, are there any side effects or risks that are associated with using boric acid in the vagina? Some general side effects of boric acid include tummy pain, a rash or diarrhea. Used in the vagina, some ladies may experience irritation, burning, or discomfort as a side effect. You may get a watery vaginal discharge or a gritty rough sensation within the vagina after using boric acid. Rarely, some ladies have developed allergies to boric acid leading to more severe symptoms. And now we're on to the fifth of the commonly asked questions I managed to put together. And if you're finding this useful, please let me know in the comment section. The question is, how do I use vaginal boric acid suppositories correctly? Well, the first thing is to be clear that your doctor has checked that this medicine is safe for you and provided you with instructions about how long to use it for and how much to use at a time. Next, please follow those instructions. And thirdly, make sure you look at the information leaflet that comes along with the packaging so that you are familiar with any possible side effects that might develop. The vaginal boric acid usually comes as a capsule or pellet known as a suppository, which is meant only for use in the vagina. The pack will also typically come with an applicator, which is meant to help you insert the medicine the suppository into the vagina. Clean your hands before and after handling the applicator and inserting the medicine. Important recommendations, only use this medicine with the applicator that comes in its pack. And if the applicator is disposable, 
don't use it again get rid of it after the first use in addition avoid having sex throughout the period you're receiving treatment with vaginal boric acid remember it will not prevent an infection from spreading from you to your partner and it will not treat or prevent sexually transmitted diseases okay on to question number six can vaginal boric acid be used to treat yeast infections well the answer to this is yes boric acid as we said has antifungal and some antiseptic properties and it may effectively treat yeast infections especially those that keep coming back and particularly when other treatments have failed it might also help to balance the acidity or ph within the vagina number seven how long does it take for boric acid to work or to relieve the vaginal discomfort or symptom well first the duration of treatment depends on what it is being used to treat and your doctor or whoever is prescribing it should specify this before you start the duration may range from three days for simple yeast infections to a week for recurring yeast infections but different or more prolonged courses may apply when it's combined with certain antibiotics for treating things like bacterial vaginosis so how long it takes before it starts working depends on what it's being used to treat but it could be anything within a few days or a few weeks next are there any interactions between boric acid and other medicines this is an excellent question because it's another place you might get caught out believing that vaginal boric acid is safe because it is natural well boric acid can interact with estrogen in your birth control or hrt affecting how well they work and watch out if you take drugs that contain magnesium because boric acid may also affect their effectiveness number nine where can i purchase my boric acid suppositories and do i need a prescription boric acid used for treating vaginal conditions like irritation or vaginal burning or infections or relieving vaginal odor associated with infections can be bought over the counter in many areas however it is best used under the guidance of a doctor for the many reasons i've already talked about finally what should i do if i experience any adverse reactions while using boric acid vaginally if you have signs of an allergic reaction hives difficulty breathing swelling of your face your lips your tongue or your throat please seek emergency help by calling your local emergency services or going straight to the nearest hospital or if while using vaginal boric acid you get new symptoms or your old symptoms seem to be getting worse for example itching or vaginal discharge burning in the vagina a fever or other symptoms that go away and come back stop using this medicine and speak to your doctor straight away so these are 10 of the most commonly asked questions i found about using vaginal boric acid i hope you found this video useful but let me know if i left any questions out we could add them into a second video if you have any vaginal health concerns you can reach me using our email health information service here and i will place the link for you in the description box below or you can check out more vaginal health videos on our playlist here and i'll see you again soon